In the previous tutorial, we wrote a simple hello world bash shell script. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to write a shell script that will back up our home directory. Now to do this, what we'll need to do is we'll say we need to first create our file. So we'll use nano to create a file called backup.sh. And now that we have our file that to work in, We'll start it off once again with a hash bang and then the path to the bash program. And now what we'll do is we'll use the echo command to basically let us know what it is that this program or this shell script that we're writing is trying to do. So we'll say in between quotation marks, backing up home directory. I put it in quotation marks to specify that this is a string and does not need special processing. These are not uh, programmatic characters that needs any type of special processing. Okay, and then we're going to use a tar command to create a tarball, a compressed, basically a compressed file for our home directory. So we'll say tar space dash c z f that'll create the tar and then we need to say where we want this file to go so we're gonna have this one go into the root var directory and we'll call it home backup dot tgz and after we specify where the file is gonna go in its name in this case we also have to say what file it is that we are compressing so we're compressing root home, and then the dan directory. All right, and we'll go to the next line, and then at the end we can use the echo to let us know when the script is finished. So we'll say done. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll do control X to exit out. I'll hit Y to accept the changes, and then hit enter to accept the file name and we're done. Let's cat it out to see if it worked. So we'll say cat ba tab, hit the tab key for tab completion, and you can see that everything is in there just as we needed. So we have the tar, we have our parameters that we've added, and the destination, and then the source file. Okay, we also need to give this file backup.sh execute permissions. So we'll do a chmod plus x for adding execute and then the file that we're doing it to backup.sh we'll do an ls-l and you can see that backup.sh now has the x executable bit set. Alright, I'll clear that. And now all we have to do is run the file. So I'll do a dot forward slash BA tab and I'll run it and you can see here backing up home directory there's our first echo and then the tar and it says all of a sudden as the tar child as it's trying to write the file to var home backup dot TGZ it says cannot open permission denied. Okay so then it says error is not recoverable it's exiting and at the end it tells us there's our echo at the end for done but we had a problem and the problem is we do not have super user permissions to write to the root var directory so we need to do we'll do an up arrow and we'll put a sudo command in the front and we'll do that and now we'll put in our password and now you can see that it's backing up the home directory and you can see it's it's working on it. There's the tar removing the leading forward slash from member names and the blinking cursor here just means that it's working on compressing that directory and saving it to the right folder or the right directory. And when it's finished we should see a done. Okay you can see that it's finally done we have the done here and so let's go take a look at it. So what we'll do is we'll do an ls dash l and we'll look in the root 
var directory and you can see in there there it is homebackup.tgz and you can see it's a file and you can see the size of the file right here you can see it's a pretty large file if we want to see how big this file is in a human readable format all we have to do is do an ls dash lh for human readable and now we can see that the home backup.tgz file is 73 megabytes now if we want to extract our file all we need to do is basically say tar dash instead of C for create we use X for extract ZF and then the path to the file it is that we want to extract now if I put in var and I say home and then tab to complete it then it will extract home backup.tgz to the file that I'm currently in which is my home directory another thing that I like to do when I have compressed files is copy the file to the location of where I want to extract it before extracting it so in that case I would basically do a sudo cp command and copy from var and then home copy the .tgz file to the directory that I want it in so on this case it will copy it to home to forward slash which is root home and then copy it into the dan directory first and you can see that worked if we do an ls command now you can see that I have my compressed file now in my home folder and then all I would do is basically a tar dash x z f and then the file name to basically extract it. 